The Pokemon Ranger series is definitely one of the best Pokemon spin-off games that we have ever received, point blank period. I mean, these three games meant so much to my gaming childhood. Becoming a Pokemon Ranger was so much fun, and it was really nice seeing a different side of the Pokemon world and understanding that there's a lot more than just being a Pokemon trainer in the universe. I loved the battles and the gameplay and the artwork. These games were just so much freaking fun, and I will take every opportunity to give these games all the love and respect that they deserved, and I will never stop talking about them. But today is all about the looks, the fashion. What exactly were these Pokemon Rangers rocking? Yeah, I'm sure you already knew what I was talking about just based off the title for this video, but don't worry if you would like to see a video where I discuss my true love for the Pokemon Ranger series, I definitely am open to making a video about that, but the purpose of today's video is going to be talking about the looks, the fashion, what exactly were these Pokemon Rangers wearing, just for a fun, silly little video today. But before I go ahead and America's Next Top Model these Pokemon Rangers, make sure you go down below, hit that like button, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gamer content of mine, it's free and you can and always change your mind later if you want. Let's dive right on into the looks. All right, first off, we absolutely have to start with our Pokemon Ranger main characters themselves, and we're gonna be starting with Solana, and she is absolutely fabulous. I gotta talk about this jacket, the styler satchel, the leggings, the ponytail that is being held up by the grace of God. I don't know what product you're using, girl, but it is working for you. I have absolutely no notes for Solana. She is a queen, and everybody should put some respect on her name. But Lunik, Lunik on the other hand, look, look at this guy. I mean, look. He might be wearing the same outfit, it looks good, whatever. That hair, what kind of bed head are you rocking? It's so flat, why is your hair so flat? Look, I don't want to harp on it too long. Your outfit looks great, but I'm just saying the sides of your hair, I don't understand how this happened. Moving on to the Rangers from Shadows of Almia, we have Kate here, and honestly, the look pretty much looks exactly the same from the Rangers from the last game, so no notes there. My only note that I wanted to acknowledge is that she does look like she was just cast in a Star Wars film, the way she's wielding this lightsaber up in the air. Nah, I know it's a capture styler, but I also wanted to point out that I do love her hair. It's very, very cute. Let's talk about Kellen, though, because I don't know what it is with these Pokemon Ranger men who just, these boys, who wake up in the morning and don't know how to style their hair. What is this alfalfa thing sticking out of the back of your head, Kellen? I don't even know, like, how do these Pokemon Rangers get ready in the morning? Clearly, they don't have a mirror or a brush or any kind of water. But I digress, the outfit looked great. Alright, and moving on to Guardian Signs, we have our first variation of the Pokemon Ranger uniform. And let me just say how fabulous this looks. I love the scarf, I love the goggles, I love the bright color palette. Everything about these Rangers are amazing. Also wanted to mention that these outfits seem very comfortable for warm weather, which I'm guessing in the Oblivia region is pretty common. I say that as she's wearing a scarf, but it's for fashion. Oh look, we finally have a male Pokemon Ranger that decided to show up to work today. Look at Ben's hair. It is perfectly styled. It is perfectly coiffed. I love this guy. He looks so good. Lunik and Kellen need to be taking some notes from Ben because clearly he knows his job and he knows what he's doing. Now let's shift away from our main cast and we're moving on to Spencer. And honestly, I love the variation of the typical Ranger outfit. I love that he has pants. I am very curious about why they're tucked into his shoes, but let's just move on. Also, I love what he's got going on with his hair. It looks kind of messy, but for Spencer, it kind of works. It's like a styled messy, if you know what I mean. Look, honestly, if we're gonna talk about Murph, and I know he's always dropping his styler all over the place, and he's kind of like the joke of the Pokemon Ranger, yada yada, whatever. Like, he looks good. I love this cropped mid-length jacket, whatever it is you got going on. I love the popped yellow collar. I think Murph looks fine. Everybody needs to leave him alone. Cameron, on the other hand, looks like he is the most comfortable person, but he gets absolutely no work done. I do love the ripped and teared sleeves. I think that those look great, but however, we need to talk about these shoes, these little slipper things you got going on. Did you just get out of bed? Moving on to Keith, we are once again seeing the same Pokemon Ranger uniform, so honestly, don't have a lot of notes about that. I think Keith is solid. Keith is fine. Also, Keith knows how to style his hair in the morning. Okay, I I'm gonna shut up. I'm stop talking. We need to talk about Ms. Rhythmy over here serving secretary realness. Have any of y'all seen Spy Family? She's giving your forger at her office job. I love the heels. I love the accents of yellow. I think that her hair looks great. I think that Rhythmy, honestly, she is serving looks over at the Pokemon Ranger base. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Sven looks incredible. I love this entire look from head to toe. The only thing that I would change is that I would add a cowboy boot 
instead of whatever little loafer thing we got going on down here. I, I don't know. Like, if part of your uniform is gonna be wearing a cowboy hat and a sleeveless shirt, then you might as well go all in and just put on the cowboy boots. All right, let's talk about my boy Barlow. Look, I love you, Barlow, but you took a page out of Spencer's book about tucking your pants into your shoes, and I don't, I'm just really confused about that. I still don't get it. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I should be tucking my pants into my shoes all this time, and I just didn't know. But honestly, I love that Barlow's not wearing a shirt with any sleeves because he needs to show off what he's got. He's got muscles, and he is over here flaunting it. Same with that mustache. Crawford, to me, honestly, is kind of giving Q-tip. He's just, he's very tall and lanky and kind of looks like a string bean, and then on top, he's got, like, this big puffy hair, and, like, he's just giving Q-tip. Cotton schwabs. All that being said, I think that Crawford's shorts look really, really good. I love that they're, like, a bit oversized, and I love how prominent the yellow is. I think that all looks great, and honestly, he rocks the curly hair. I think it looks good on him, too. Professor Hastings, look, I love anybody whose eyebrows match their mustache. I have no complaints about that. At least you're keeping it consistent. Honestly, though, I love Hastings' color palette. I think he's rocking this, like, maroon, burgundy, mixed with yellow kind of thing. I think it looks good. I really like it. I think Hastings, honestly, you're killing it. Irma, tell me that she is not giving you Dola from Castle in the Sky. She's just giving me, like, sweet, elderly grandma energy. Like, she just looks like someone that I want to talk to and sit down and have cookies with. I love her pigtails. I love everything about this outfit. Honestly, I can't even bring myself to say anything negative about her. I just love Irma so much. Coconut head. I, I mean, Isaac. Look, before I talk about the elephant in the room, the glaringly obvious, let's talk about the things I like first. I enjoy the pink shirt. I think he looks good. Honestly, I love the outfit. The hair. Isaac looks as if he just walked into his barber shop and they just happened to have a salad bowl nearby and they just put it on his head and then chopped the rest of his hair off after putting it on his head. Arlie. Honestly, I don't really have many notes for Arlie. I love the green. I love the big vibrant colors. I think that it looks great on him. I don't really got any complaints. I think Arlie looks good. Pretty solid. Nema, to me, gives, like, young Professor Ivy vibes. Did any of y'all watch Pokemon Orange Islands, like, the anime? I know I'm, like, one of the two people that watched it, but I have it on DVD, and I loved Professor Ivy, and she gives me, like, young Professor Ivy. I love anybody who loves an accessory, and honestly, this necklace looks great. I love the red glasses. I think that she looks really good. Her hair is kind of giving me flashbacks to Lunik, though, which makes me a little bit concerned, but... Booker is what I hope to look like when I'm an old man. Hopefully with, you know, more hair, but honestly, I... I love this outfit. I love the eccentric style. I love the bright colors. I think the pink, the yellow, the purple. I think everything looks really, really good. I want this shirt. I want this look. Booker, why are you killing it? Honestly, I don't know if y'all were expecting me to say that Booker was the fashion icon of Oblivia, but he, he low-key kind of is. All right, let's move on to some villains, some evil teams, and we are going to be starting off with Garrett here. I love the flame design on the outfit, but honestly, it's, it's too white. There's too much white. Like, just anything that looks this white, all I think about is how dirty it's gonna get. Like, am I the only one that feels that way? Whenever someone's wearing an all-white outfit, I'm immediately just thinking about what is the washing process going to be, because there's gonna be stuff all over it. Billy's hair is a hot mess, and you can tell just by looking at him, so honestly, I'm not gonna dwell on it. From the neck down, this outfit, though? Iconic! I love the tight t-shirt, I love the pants, I love the jacket, I want this jacket! Wait, hold on, I'm, I'm just noticing something. Is he wearing a choker? Is that a choker in my Pokemon game? That's crazy. I, don't, I didn't even see that. Honestly, though, I'm not even mad at it. Tiffany looks like she is straight out of Yu-Gi-Oh. Tell me that she is not giving my Valentine energy. Just look at her. I love the torn up, like, frayed cape at the end, or jacket, jacket cape, whatever it is. Girl, it looks fabulous, whatever it is. The only other thing I noticed is that I wanted to talk about this belt that is not doing anything for her at all whatsoever, other than for a style choice. Is this not Ludwig von Koopa? from the Mario series. Tell me this is not Bowser's child. Honestly, for Billy, I love this jacket too. I think anything with the phrase I'm all about, and I love the like furry collar. I think that that looks great. I love the red in the middle of the jacket. I think that everything here looks good. It's just that hair is giving Ludwig von Koopa. Gordor? G Gordor? G how, how do you even pronounce this? Look, this man is giving marching band. Like, I, I don't even know how else to describe it other than the, the little shoulder pads and, like, it, it's giving marching band. Gordor's giving someone that would be very upset if you missed your trumpet lesson and then you wouldn't be able to be in the performance. Oh, Lord, Mr. Kincaid, where do I even start with this? First of all, way too hot. Way too much. Way too much cover-up. Like, I'm hot just looking at this. I know there's some cold areas of Almia, but, girl... Look, I love the mystery of the look. I love the black and purple. I think it looks good. The outfit is fine. I love that the hair is perfectly coiffed. We know that I'm all about that, but 
I don't think I'd be able to hear anything that you were telling me with this piece of fabric around your mouth. Also, Mr. Kincaid doesn't like when people are running around the school hallways, but I don't think he's even got to worry about that because he doesn't look like he can run in the school hallways in this outfit. Icons, legends, stars, Perfect. It was perfect. I would not change an absolute thing about any of these three. They all look so incredible, but let's go through them one by one. Lavana is fierce. She is giving me Ariana Grande with these ponytails and the boots look good. She's giving me also kind of like Sailor Guardian vibes. Like I love this outfit. I love the hair, everything, everything about her. She is the moment. Heath, once again, is, you know, tucking the pants into the boots, but, you know, I'm gonna ignore it, because this look looks really, really good. I am a little bit confused by the midsection, but again, it's not for me. It's not for me to understand. He looks good. I love the football shoulder pad thing going on. I think that it matches his vibe perfectly. I love his hair. Also, I am just now realizing, are those knee pads on his knees? Because if that's the case, this is absolutely perfect with his, like, sporty jock aesthetic. I think it all works. Not to exaggerate, but I want to be ice. I'm not even joking. Okay, well, I'm absolutely biased because I love blue. Blue is my favorite color, so of course, this is the outfit that I would want. This is the person that I would be. Of course, of course. All that being said, he's so cool. He's so cool. Oh my god, I love the jacket, the scarf, the hair, everything about- No notes, truly, no note. Blake Hall, this guy. Yeah, well, he's, he's a businessman, that's for sure. Uh, I, I like your little suit jacket thing you got going on. I like the dark colors. I love the black and the purple. I think that looks nice. Love the ponytail, the sunglasses. Like, he definitely looks shady. He's giving, like, mob boss kind of energy, but I don't know. It, it is kind of boring in comparison to the other characters that I just reviewed. But hey, he looks like the leader of a corporation, and what's more evil than that? Blue eyes, girl, you look fabulous. I think that this is amazing. I love the shoes. I think the shoes are what is selling it for me. I love the blonde hair with the streak of blue. I think that that's really, really nice. And also, it, she's wearing a choker too. Were all these people wearing chokers and I just didn't realize it until now? That's crazy. Everybody got a coupon to Hot Topic and just went buck wild and no one told me. And Red Eyes looks just as good. I love this look too. I think that the sleeveless shirt is great. I love the little collar thing. I love the red accents on the shoes. I think that the red streak in the hair is is great. Honestly, red eyes and blue eyes, they both look incredible. Like, no wonder people were afraid of these two. I would be afraid of these two if they walked up to me. Purple eyes is also kind of low-key, giving me Yu-Gi-Oh energy. I don't know if it's the crop jacket or the, once again, the pants tucked into the boots. Like, I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting Yu-Gi-Oh from this. I love the necklace. I love the shirt. I love the colors. The only thing that looks a little bit odd to me is the hair. Like, am I the only one? The, the hair just doesn't look like hair. Like, it, it looks like like paper or something like it's so thin I, I i don't know it just doesn't look like hair Whew, some of those were a lot but thank y'all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and definitely let me know down in the comments if you would like to see me do this again with another pokemon series and reviewing its fashion bye